channel where we film apartment tours on Tuesdays and Thursdays and something that I like on Saturdays. But for the entire month of December, we're just gonna be filming a video every day or posting one every day at least. So today's video is going to be an apartment tour. You guys, I have never seen an apartment this small before. It was so cute, everything was so tiny. But let's go ahead and take a look at exactly where this place is at really quick. Like always, the red pin is exactly where the apartments are located. You have so many different options as far as food and restaurants, which is food, <laughs> and shopping goes. You're literally within walking distance from the Cherry Creek Shopping Center. It is literally probably one of my favorite places. They have so many different stores from luxury stores to your basic stores like Zara, H&M, Sephora, and stuff like that. I also think you're next to the Cherry Creek Reservoir. So like we are going to go over in the video when I talk about the parking garage, she said to me that it was on St. Paul and Steel, but I only see St. Paul and Second. I think it's this one. Not that far at all. If you feel comfortable walking that, that's not bad, but it's $175 to park in here. Zooming out, to get to downtown, as you can see, you're not really that close to the downtown area, but it's not that hard to get there. It probably takes you about 25 minutes to get to the downtown area. Okay, so I just got home and I literally just toured the tiniest apartment. I've literally ever seen. I have everything written down on a sheet of paper um, because she didn't give me any like fee sheets or like anything with anything on it. It's completely different than a lot of the other places that I've toured in the sense of like, I feel like it's more private. There's only 48 units here. The entire fifth floor is rented out or leased by an Airbnb company. She said that this place is really perfect for a lot of people who are traveling for business because they offer a lot of short-term leases. So if you're doing something like that, this might be a really good place for you to check out. They don't really have too many amenities. They have like a package concierge thing. I have that here. You just pay a one-time startup fee. There's only four parking spots available in the entire or for the entire 48 units. So there is a waiting list and the spots are $125 a month. They do have a parking like agreement or deal with a garage that's on St. Paul and Steel and that's $175 dollars a month. It's a couple of blocks away. You do have to walk to where you're staying, but I guess it's not that bad, but it is also almost $200. So that is something to factor in. You're going to end up paying as much as I'm paying here. And I have a huge apartment, a private garage. They are pet friendly. I do believe you're only allowed to have one pet. I also believe that they only offer studios. So if you're looking for a one bedroom, two bedroom, this is definitely not the place for you. So for pets, there's a $300 security deposit and then a $35 pet rent fee. Your animal can weigh no more than 35 pounds. The application fee is $45. There's a $300 holding fee and then that $300 holding fee does roll over to your security deposit, which is $400 for all of the units across the board. And then the last couple of things, utilities for all units range from about 50 to 100 there is also like an entertainment package that is like kind of forced upon you. You have to get Wi-Fi through them. There's like a cable package. You do get a fire stick, but I'm not 100% sure what she said that costs. I feel like I heard 195. I'll play that clip for you guys so you can hear and kind of judge for yourself because I was not listening apparently. How much is this? This one's $12.95. Okay, wow, that would be perfect because so, um, I pay two grand right now. Factor in. 
It comes with what's called an entertainment package. So basically it's already set up with dish fiberware. And then- okay. uh, is that like cable? Um, that you your internet. Oh, okay. And it also comes with um, uh, cable channels. And then you okay. also get a fire stick um, from Amazon that has oh, channels cool. on too. So unfortunately, it's it, it, you can't opt out of it. It's just part of it. So you have to factor that into in addition to that rent. Okay. Cool. For the amenities that they do have, they don't really have that many available. They do have like a lounging area that's kind of downstairs. That is downstairs. It's not kind of downstairs. It has like a shuffle board. Is that what it's called? Other than that area, there is a rooftop lounge, which she said literally nobody ever uses. She said that the vibes there are kind of more so like a hotel rather than like an apartment. So looking at the first units, all of these units are pretty much the exact same the only difference is the size so the first unit that we toured was 214 square feet i've never been in an apartment this small before but honestly you can make it work i can't because i have too much stuff and none of my stuff would fit in there this unit was 1295 dollars and it is currently still available so if you are looking to do this or rent this place definitely check out the link in the description box to find out more about this place the backsplash in the kitchen is like a light gray or a muted gray i don't even know if that makes sense muted gray that goes halfway up the wall you guys know how i feel about the backsplashes but i guess i kind of understand uh the kitchen is actually really cute it is really tiny the first unit doesn't have a washer and dryer included in it but there is an area that is a public washer and dryer for the complex that everybody can use and it is free to you so that is really nice you get a espresso cabinets and a detached fan that's above the stove that those are really cute and they look really good i don't know why i say cute but it looks really good and you do have matching stainless steel appliances all across the board in all of the units I'm going into the restroom in this unit the backsplash does go all the way across the entire bathroom the mirror also goes all the way across i love a good mirror i do feel like the bathroom is a little bit big and i feel like the builders maybe could have taken a little bit of space from the bathroom and added just that little bit of extra space to the living area but something i did notice that was really cool is that they have like a lofting area above the bathroom if you want like this is something i would do if i was living there i would totally put a couch on the floor obviously and then i would probably put my mattress on that loft area get like a cute ladder and then live it up with my ladder climbing up there every single day i do think that would be a really cute idea if you do have a little bit more furniture and you need a way to utilize the space or if you don't really have any furniture you could use that space as like storage if you have like skis or snowboards skateboards the floors are like an oak colored floor and then honestly uh just jumping straight into the next unit we don't need to talk too much about it it has pretty much everything the same the only difference with this second unit is that it is 425 square feet and here's the kicker guys it's 1795 dollars i pay less than that before my like garage and like uh utilities and all of that i pay 1904 for everything that i have my apartment is almost 900 square feet i have a balcony i have a dog park i have a like a private detached garage so i think it really just comes down to like how much you want to spend what's worth it for you all those kinds of things something i will say about these next two units or these two units that we're looking at right now is the windows are huge and they have corner windows you guys know that i'm sucker for windows a sucker for windows they're probably my favorite thing in the entire world like whenever i get a house that's gonna be like my main concern i do like the way that everything looks in here i mean it is very clean um it's different for sure something that i've never seen like i said the 200 square foot apartment i have never been in an apartment that size before but it was really cool to see i didn't even know denver had micro apartments to be honest until literally a couple of weeks ago when i was doing a google search third unit again is just as big as the last one it is a little bit smaller coming in at 375 square feet but it doesn't look like there's a huge difference to be honest when i'm looking at it or when i was inside of it again everything is the 
exact same as far as the flooring goes and all of the appliances and finishes and stuff like that. I'm curious to know what you guys thought of this micro apartment. Did you guys know that micro apartments were a thing in Colorado? Like I literally had no idea. Nobody told me. I honestly like would potentially be down to live there. But again, like for everything that you get there versus everything you get here and so many other places, like you could literally live in a building downtown for the same price. Again, I think it really depends on what you're looking for and your kind of style of apartment. You leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Do you live in a micro apartment? What is it like? I'll see you guys tomorrow for sure for our, I, what, I don't even know what day it is. See you tomorrow for our ninth video in December. We are going strong, my guys. Strong. I'm proud of myself. Okay. Okay, bye. Nobody else. Nobody else.